Kelsey and Kendra and today we're going to be doing our current favorites. This was supposed to be a April favorites but we're kind of late so we're just going to call it a current favorites mm -hmm. and we have a lot of goodies to share with you guys today. It's kind of spread out today. We don't have too much of one thing so it's going to be a nice variety of things that we're mentioning today so I'm not going to ramble too much so let's just go ahead and jump into the favorites. Okay, so we can start with hair and the first favorite that I have here is from the brand Real Geo and this was in our Sephora VIB sale haul. I had quite a few hair products in that haul and I cannot wait to try this one in particular. This is the Be Gentle, Be Kind Avocado and Quinoa Co-Wash and Kelsey and I have been loving this. I'm obsessed with this stuff. It's super gentle and it has that nice Real Geo signature clean like salon smell. I love the smell, but I love that it feels like a conditioner, but it's cleansing as well. Although when I rinse it out, it still feels like I rinse out conditioner. Like, you know, most cleansers, when you rinse them out, it feels like you just use kind of like a really delicate shampoo, but this still feels like I use conditioner like the whole time. Yeah, but your hair still feels clean. Yes, it still feels clean, mm -hmm. but it feels like almost just cleansed and not clean. When I think of clean, I think of like squeaky feeling. Mm -hmm. It just feels like nice and cleansed, but still like moisturized. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But this is definitely a true co-wash product. It's definitely a conditioner like texture. Yeah. So if you're looking for something that's more like on the shampoo side, just get shampoo because this is not no. for you. Yeah. But if you're like a curly girl who likes to go by the curly girl method, which we don't, but we do like to co-wash more than we shampoo when it's curly. So this product is great for that. So I highly recommend it. So if you do look for products like this, this is one because it has no sulfates, no silicones, and no parabens. Yeah. So this is a really good product. Love this. Okay, so the next product that I'm going to mention is something that I've been using for a while. And I've actually mentioned this before over on our vlog channel a few months ago. So some of you guys may already know what this is. But this is just a curl refresher from Alike Naturals. This is the Wake Me Up Curl Refresher. And this stuff is so, so amazing. It just looked interesting to me a few months ago when I saw it in Target because that's where I got this from. And this is actually my second bottle. And it's not your average curl refresher because most curl refreshers are water-based and they have water in them and you just like spray them all over to give your hair a nice refresher. But I find that when I use curl refreshers with water in them, I feel like my hair gets frizzy all over again. So I was looking for a curl refresher that would define my curls while it was refreshing my curls at the same time. And I found this. This is so, so amazing. It's not watery, but it's not too much of a conditioner either. It's like a nice mix of both. So it's like kind of watery, but when you spray it in your hands, it kind of feels like a really lightweight styler, if that makes sense. And it smells amazing. It's like a nice fruity scent. It smells like candy. It smells like candy, like tropical goodness. So it's so, so nice. And I actually use this to refresh my hair this time. Like whenever you guys see my hair and it's like really big and like the ends look defined and like bouncy, I use this. So this is what I use. I haven't washed my hair in over a week because I just didn't feel like it. So this is when I reach for this because this is just a nice pick me up if you want to stretch your hair for a little bit longer or if you don't have that much time to co-wash and go wash it because y'all know my curly girls. It's, it's like all that process, like co-wash and deep conditioning and then styling. So everybody doesn't always have that much time on their hands to do that. So this is a really good curl refresher if you're, you know, running low on time. So this is so, so amazing. And like I said, this is my second bottle and I'm going to be out pretty soon actually. So I need to get like two more backups when I go on Target. So this is so, so bomb. So the last hair product that Kelsey and I have to mention, okay. I'm going to mention it first because... Uh, I technically tried it first and then I yeah. introduced her to it. She put me on. So these are the Jessie Curl products. I originally saw these products on Pinterest and I was just, you know, when you look up different things on Pinterest, other things come up that they want to yeah. recommend to you. And I was like, oh, that looks kind of interesting. This is the Jessie Curl Spiralicious Styling Gel and this is the Jessie Curl Touche Extra Moisturizing Conditioner. In particular, I wanted to try out this gel because I heard so many good things about it being super defining and it's really good for all like hair types so when i first saw this product i went to go on amazon they do have obviously their products on their own website but i always check amazon first just to see because it's so much more convenient <laughs> and just amazon is just way too easy it's a dangerous place I'm yeah telling you, it's Cause dangerous they have everything on there yes yeah so they did have these products on amazon and i wanted to try these size first but i did see that they came in like a huge pump size so I kind of got excited because I was like, if I fall in love with these, I'm going to get the really large size. 
I like how they have a different color for like the type of product that it is. The hot pink is for styling and then they have the orange that says conditioning. This conditioner is technically a rinse out conditioner but I use it as a leave in. And on the back it does recommend that you can use it as a leave in as well. So I love this. This is a shea butter like base conditioner. So it's super moisturizing. It's really good for thick hair like mine. And it's not full of like, you know, the bad ingredients. It has really good ingredients. This is citrus lavender scented. They don't really smell amazing to me, but they're like light. They're light smelling. Yeah. So they're not bad, but they're not like bomb. You know what I mean? But I like that they work great. So that's pretty much all that matters to me. So I really love this conditioner, really good detangler, and it's like on the thicker side, super moisturizing. But like the star y'all was this gel. This gel bomb. is the truth. Yeah. When I tell you it was bomb, like Kelsey tried it after she used mine, and then I was like, okay, I'm gonna order us both big ones. Yeah, because I yeah. actually tried it because I was like kind of in a bind, and I had did my hair with something that I tried for the first time, and I really didn't like it. My hair was a freezing hot mess, and I walked in the bathroom and just saw her product sitting on the counter here in the sitting room, I was like, oh, what's this? And then I just squeezed something in my hand and used some of the gel, mm -hmm. and my hair was so shiny and defined. I was like, Kimber, what gel is this? Cause I didn't pay attention. You know when you like trying to hurry up and get your hair look nice and you like finna be out the door, mm -hmm. like in a rush, I just used what I like saw because Kimber always got some kind of new product on her vanity. So I just picked it up and it's so, so bomb. I like the gel. Kimber got us both these big daddy pumps mm -hmm. and they're so, so nice. These are empty by the way. Yeah, because that's the one I tried. Yes. And the squeeze ball. This one. Yeah. And then she just went ahead and ordered us the big pump. This is going to come in handy. I think it's like $40 on Amazon. Maybe $35. That's not that bad. This is huge. This is going to last me like all through summer, through next summer. Because I don't use gel that often. But I use it. I do. But I use it mostly in the summertime. Yeah, you use gel more than me. I'm more of a gel girl because my hair turns out, turns out better with gel. Mm -hmm. Like some of the creams be kind of like tricky for my hair. Some yeah, are bomb and then some look like my hair wasn't done. Yeah, that's true. But this gel doesn't leave like a crunchy residue. It yeah. like holds your hair but leaves it like soft at the same time. But really defined. Really defined and it doesn't leave residue. Which is very important for me because I actually use my gel with different conditioners. I didn't use the matching conditioner when I used the gel. Um, when I used it this time, I actually used it with the African Pride, I think the olive leave conditioner, conditioner. leave-in conditioner, like in the jar. You can get it at Walmart, but I used that one mixed with this, and they work so, so nice together. And I did my Demi Brush Method, nice, nice combo. But I feel like this gel will work with any conditioner, because mm -hmm. some gels don't really mix that well with other conditioners, because they leave, like, flakes and stuff or, like, residue. Mm -hmm. But I feel like this is, like, a universal gel, because you can use it with, like, a lot of different conditioners. Okay, so moving on to makeup, I have two products from the same brand. These are both from KKW Beauty, and I think I used both of these in our most recent Chit Chat Get Ready With Us that we did. And this first product is her concealer. This is the KKW Concealer in the number 14. So I love this. This is the concealer that she launched with her bake, no, her Conceal Brighten and Bake like little set kit. And I did get that with this concealer, but I mentioned in our Get Ready With Us that I did not like the powders that it came with. I just didn't like how it looked on my skin and my skin type because I'm so oily and I feel like it wasn't making me mad enough. Like I just didn't feel like, I don't know, I got oily really fast after I used it because I tested it out for like a whole day. And after I looked at my makeup later on, I was not that impressed, but I was mostly impressed with this concealer because instantly I was like, this is bomb. First of all, it's very full coverage. It's not thick. It's super thin, so I like how comfortable it is on the skin. And I love the applicator. It's like a really like like a flat side, so it goes perfectly under the eye. And I love this color. Number 14 is like the perfect shade for me. So this is a really, really good concealer. I highly recommend it. I'm obsessed with her packaging. It's just so sleek and minimal, and I love the nude everything. It's just bomb. But this formula is so, so good. I think it will go really well with any skin type. But I feel like when you have oily skin, like you really want to make sure nothing's going to slide off your face. Yeah. This does not do that. So I love that about this product. So if you guys were skeptical about the KKW concealer and the powders, if you're oily, just get the concealer. And I also have her gloss here. This is the Juicy Gloss from KKW. She does have another one, but I thought that one was too light for my skin tone. And when I saw the juicy one, I liked the peach undertone that it had to it. So I immediately knew it was gonna work for me because I like any pretty peachy nude gloss. 
Like I love the peach family for my skin tone because I feel like that complements the well. Especially not too pinky. pinky. Yeah, not too pink because sometimes pinks. They just clash with my skin tone. They just don't look right. Yeah. But peach looks really soft and like pretty. And juicy is the perfect name for this gloss because the longer it's on your lips, it's like the juicier and plumper your lips look. I don't know what it is. It's not minty. It just feels honestly like a lip balm, which I love about this gloss. Like it feels moisturizing. Like it feels like it has coconut oil, like all the good stuff in it, but it, it has a really good color on it. So I don't know what she put in this, but it's so, so good. And it doesn't really have a smell. So if you don't like smell, this does not have a smell. Because some people are like sensitive to certain scents and they get like headaches yeah. and stuff. Yeah. So this is not scented really to me. So that's funny because it says juicy. You would think it smells like pears or something. Peach. Peaches. But it doesn't smell like anything, but the color is juicy. It's a nice peach color. So this is bomb and it doesn't have glitter. It's just like a nice, simple peach gloss. So I only have one makeup product to share, which is kind of surprising because I actually been using a lot of new products this month, but when stuff don't really impress me, I don't mention it because I'm not going to BS y'all. But this concealer is so, so nice. This is the Hourglass Veil Retouching Fluid Concealer. And I actually used this in our Chit Chat Ready With Me as well. I think it was the same one we mm -hmm. used that. But this is so, so nice. It's like very, very lightweight. It's like almost reminds me of the texture of my Maybelline Fit Me Concealers, which are like my most used concealers because they're so so nice for everyday wear and they're really nice for like a night out because you can like build it up you can do like more than one layer and not feel like cakey because that's one thing i can't stand is like super thick concealers i know it's nice for like people that struggle with like dark under eyes or like bags or something but even when i have bags i just cannot stand the feeling of like thick cakiness under my eyes it just it just it don't feel good so I really like this because it's like really lightweight, but it still gives you really nice coverage. This is in the color Almond. This is just the color that they sent me, but I want to see what other colors that they had to see if I can find some nice highlighting shades as well for my skin tone. So this is just overall a really, really nice concealer. I love the packaging as well. It's like a frosted packaging. Frosted packaging, I don't know, it's like my favorite. I just really, really like it. We both like love frosted packaging. So I just really like the attention to detail with their packaging. This also came with the powder like in the little set um, with like a powder and the brush and this. I really, really like the double ended brush because you can use like one end for powder and then the other end to like set your under eye. So face and like under eye powder. But the powder that it came with was good, but not like great. Like it wasn't like my Laura Mercier powder. Like if I could compare it to something, but it's a good powder, but I wasn't as obsessed with it as I am with the concealer. So. I highly recommend trying out the concealer. So the second to last product that I have here is from the brand Skin Owl. And this is a body oil. It says the ultimate body oil for tired, thirsty skin. And let me tell y'all, this oil is so bomb. I got it off Amazon, of course. What's new? <laughs> I'm telling y'all, dangerous place. This oil is like really, really luxurious feeling. It doesn't have a smell. So again, if you don't like scented things, this product is for you. And it pretty much has everything natural in it. Like I can read every ingredient on the back. It has sunflower oil, apricot oil, sweet almond oil, jojoba oil, uh, aloe, organic aloe, leaf oil, vitamin E. Like this has some good stuff in it. Y'all, you need this in your life. When I tell you, it's a very like thin feeling oil. It's super moisturizing though, like your skin is feels really soft the next morning but it's not really thick because most oils feel really thick and it gets on your sheets and all that or greasy greasy feeling it's not like that it's just like a soft silky velvety oil um i actually forgot how much this was i don't think it was cheap but i don't think it was like super super pricey but if you're into body products like me like i'll try anything once honestly because i just love trying new body products because i just get excited to try new stuff and i get bored when i'm using the same thing too long so this is a really new, good new product to try if you guys are on the hunt for a new body oil. It's amazing. Okay, so my next product is also like skincare related, but this is more in the face skincare related area. This is from Tata Harper. You guys saw that we got a ton of stuff from Tata Harper in our VIB sale haul because we've been trying to get more into natural skincare. Yeah, because we're trying to see if it makes a difference in our skin long term. Because sometimes when you use things that aren't natural, it look, your skin looks good at first, but then a few months later it stopped working. So that's why I've been trying to like, you know, venture out into some more organic skincare. And Tata Harper is like one of the most popular brands in high-end organic skincare. 
First of all, I told y'all her packaging is like A1. I love like the glass, like everything. It's just like so well made. The green is beautiful, of course. But of course, the actual product is what I'm here to talk to y'all about. This cleanser is so, so nice. This is the Clarifying Cleanser for Blemish Prone Skin, which I do have. I haven't always had blemish prone skin, but as I've gotten older, I've started to realize that I do, which is kind of annoying. I'm like, what is adult acne? Like, mm -hmm. what the hell is that? But this has really been helping combat all the pimples that I have and if I do get one when I use this cleanser it helps it go away a lot a lot faster this is really really nice it's like a green color it's almost gone like look how much I used it this. but it's like a nice liquidy green color it has tons and tons of ingredients in this with skincare the more ingredients the better because a lot of the times with skincare products they put filler in them to make it looks like it's a lot of product in it, but it's a bunch of crap that you're putting on your face. It has all the good stuff in it. Yeah, but this has like all the good stuff in it from like gardens and you know, grown from the ground, you know. Mm -hmm. You know, this is, you know, God skincare, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like non-toxic, which is great. Because you really have to be careful of what you put in, on your skin because your skin is the, the largest, largest organ of, in, the in your body. So it can affect your health like a lot of different things so, i love how minty this feels this feels like a mint dream on your face like the second time i wash because i double cleanse when i wash at night because in the morning i only cleanse once but at night i double cleanse and the second one i'll leave this on my face for like two minutes just to feel the like coolness of it because it just opens up your pores so nicely so this is such a nice cleanser the only thing that i don't like about it is that i can't travel with it because it's glass and it's a pump so that would be very safe. So I hope Maybe it comes out with some travel size. size things. Yeah, because I really, really like this cleanser a lot. And as you can see, I'm going to need a new one very, very soon. But this cleanser is just amazing. If you've been interested in trying Tata Harper products, I highly recommend giving them a try. Start out with the cleanser, see how you like it, and then you can ease your way into other products. Okay, so the very last thing that Kelsey and I have to mention together Mm -hmm. are these wonderful luxurious comfortable amazing <laughs> sheets <laughs> yes sheets these are from the brand milani fine linens these are from amazon of you course <laughs> but i found these just on a whim randomly because when we first moved into uh, our new house i was so excited to use like these sheets from the brand parachute that i got they're like these bamboo sheets they're like i forgot the name of the fabric I forgot, but they're like supposed to be like really cool. Like you can get the night sweats and they're good. They're good sheets, but these are amazing sheets. And they were like literally a fraction of the price. So the these, parachute ones were more than these. Way more. The parachute ones were like, like kind of ridiculous for the price. But I will spend money on my sleep. Yeah. I'm just, I don't play when it comes to my sleep because mm -hmm. it's very important. But these were like $30, which is super affordable for some really good sheets. So this is yeah. the packaging. Mm -hmm. And they have so many different colors. They have colors for like kids' rooms and your your bedroom, teenagers' rooms. Mm -hmm. Like they have so many different colors. Kelsey has the gray, gray ones. ones. Yeah, you got me gray. I got her gray one, and I got myself uh, some tan ones because they go with like my room theme and yeah, like the, the neutrals colors. in there. Yeah. And I also got a white set. So they're super super soft. When I tell y'all, it feels like you're getting you're hopping into a cloud. Yeah, super they're super so soft. They're so soft and like silky. Mm -hmm. Silky, but they're not silk sheets, which is weird. Yes, they look cotton, but when you feel them, they look like a mixture of cotton and silk mix. These say they're a hundred percent brushed microfiber. Okay. So I guess microfiber is like a mixture of cotton and silk. I guess. Yeah, it says silky soft, one hundred percent brushed microfiber, carefully crafted in every detail. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and the re it recommends that you wash them in cold water uh, because they're very delicate. Because if you wash them in hot water, you can probably ruin the sheets. But they're super, super soft. See, even the packaging says extra soft, wrinkle resistant. Yes. And that's so true because the other ones that I have from Parachute look so wrinkled and I can't stand wrinkled anything. <laughs> but those, like, as soon as you just take them out of the dryer, they just look so, like, nice and luxurious. Mm -hmm. These are bomb. Like, yeah. if you guys need some new sheets, go on Amazon, type in... Milani, M-E-L-L-A-N-N-I. -N -N so nice. This, this is my sponsor. Mm -hmm. These are just bomb. Yeah. So yeah, and I wasn't even expecting her to give me any. She just got me. Them. I was already on there. Uh -huh. I saw they came in other colors. Yeah. You have gray in your room, so. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Just thought about my theme. Mm -hmm. But yeah, they're really, really nice sheets because I already had a really, really nice pair of sheets that I got from TJ Maxx, I think. 
but I can't remember the brand. But they're really, really nice sheets and softer, but they're thicker. Mm -hmm. So I do get hot faster with those. These are more breathable, and I don't get as hot because I get the night sweats as well, which is really, really annoying. Like, it's so annoying. Comment mm -hmm. down below if you get the night sweats. It's really annoying. Mm -hmm. um, but it's more common than we probably think because we both do. At one point, yeah. we didn't even realize that we both had them. Yes. But sometimes it can be your sheets. Yeah, it can be too thick or something. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. and we also sleep with duvet covers. Yeah, all the extra stuff. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. that's probably why. So, yeah, but these are amazing. Okay, so that completes our current favorites video. Let us know in the comments below if you guys have tried any of these products, or if you're gonna try them, or if you already went to go buy them. Because we see on Twitter a lot of you guys always say, "Kelsey and Kendra made me buy it." <laughs> I love seeing those on Twitter. So um, I'm glad we're like being very, you know, influential with the things. That you guys like to buy so <laughs> that could be a good or a bad thing yeah that's true <laughs> let us know if you're going to try any of this stuff and we will have everything linked down below if you guys do want to try it so yeah thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you guys in the next one